Hi guys, Lens here. If you're having problem connecting your Motorola E20 or other Motorola versions to your computer, I am going to show you how we are going to do so. So if you connect your USB cable and it's charging but you're having difficulties connecting this to your computer, it should show up on your computer. You should see Moto E20 showing up there or whatever version Motorola you have If that isn't happening, I'll show you how to fix that issue So what you want to do here You want to connect your USB cable And then You want to go to your settings here First you want to scroll along at the top You want to look for this setting here android system charging now via usb cable you want to hit that so guys you can see that it says charge only you want to select media device so you select media device we should be able to access our data on our computer you should be able to copy your photos your videos on your computer now guys if that's not happening what you want to do you want to unplug your cable and guys you want to go over to settings here you want to scroll down to about phone then you want to scroll down to the build number you want to hit on this seven times to enable the developer options then you go back you want to look for this developer option it will be in your settings here you click advance here is a developer option you go here you can select USB debugging you click OK you want to also select OEM unlock as well this can be useful as well in the future so guys once you selected the USB debugging and also OEM unlock these options are quite useful in the future for any unlocking or anything that you may want to do in the future so guys you should be able to connect your device so what we are going to do here now we are going to plug in the device so guys you want to plug in the device and as you can see here it is telling us tap to turn off the USB debugging and the driver is being installed on the computer as you can see all the different drivers are being installed in there this should take a few minutes all depend on your network and your computer and when it found it will install the drivers so guys once you hit the usb options here and you hit mtp device as you can see file transfer and the usb developer options on the other drivers will install here which which is the adb and also moto e20 usb driver as well we need to wait at times for the phone to show up but as you can see we can access the phone storage here we should be able to access our photos here and we can put on music on the phone we can access the download folder this is how you do it guys so I hope that this was helpful to you and if you're having problems still with your Moto E20 guys you can let me know in the comment section I'll help you guys out. I hope that this video was helpful. My name is Lens. Bye bye.